crew of the guided missile destroyer USS Kearney operating in the Northern Red Sea earlier today. The crew of the guided missile destroyer the crew of the guided missile destroyer USS Kearney operating in the Northern Red Sea earlier today shot down three land attack cruise missiles and several drones that were launched by Houthi forces in Yemen. This action was a demonstration of the integrated air and missile defense architecture that we have built in the Middle East and that we are prepared to utilize whenever necessary to protect our partners and our interests in this important region. There were no casualties to U.S. forces and none that we know of to any civilians on the ground. Information about these engagements is still being processed and we cannot say for certain what these missiles and drones were targeting, but they were launched from Yemen heading north along the Red Sea potentially towards targets in Israel. Our defensive response was one that we would have taken for any similar threat in the region where we're able to do so against our interest personnel and our partners. This attack may be ongoing, so if we have more information to share, we will. But again, as the Secretary has made clear, we have the capability to defend our broader interests in the region and to deter regional escalation and broader expansion of the conflict that began with Hamas's attack on Israeli civilians on October 7th. The crew of the Kearney did just that, and across the force we will remain vigilant to any other potential threats. And while I'm on the topic of threats, let me provide an update on the reports of several drone attacks against U.S. facilities in Iraq and Syria. Early yesterday morning, Syria time, October 18th, the Atat garrison in Syria was targeted by two drones. U.S. and coalition forces engaged one drone destroying it while the other drone impacted the base, resulting in minor injuries to coalition forces. Also, the same morning in Iraq, early warning systems indicated a possible threat approaching the airbase at al-Assad and base personnel sheltered in place as a protective measure. Though no attack occurred, sadly a U.S. civilian contractor suffered a cardiac episode while sheltering and passed away shortly thereafter. And our deepest sympathies and condolences are with the loved one, the loved ones of the individual who passed away. Thanks for watching. Stay updated.